It's about a quarter after 11 on a Sunday night. Uh, looking for an ATM that actually is in service. There's not very many ATMs uh, to begin with up on the main road. So I'm taking a shortcut road just towards the beachfront. Used to be quiet down this road from about 10 o'clock on every night of the week, even Friday and Saturday. Those days are over. Anyway, we'll see what we can find. Yeah, I still haven't found my photo assignment for the day. Uh, I think I'm going to try to take a picture of uh, fresh fruit because I think the market is still kind of open. At least one of them is. If not, uh, you know, I can probably take a picture of a packaged banana inside of a 7-Eleven or something. <laughs> So that's my goal for the next few minutes. Well, this is one of my little shortcuts from the beach um, front area. Back up to the main road and then down to my apartment. It avoids a good chunk of the scariest part of the main road. Got this little circle here. There's all these very quiet businesses up here. There's some dive shops. And I think one big restaurant over there. But slightly traveled. Come around here, the big lights up on the hill. That's called the view. The, um, the driveway up there is steep. It's just up the side of the mountain or hill. But no switchbacks or anything, it's just straight up. And you kind of wonder what that's going to be like in, you know, a heavy downpour if you happen to have to go home or leave your home up there for some place down here. Oh, here comes some idiot. Yeah, he just took the speed bump and almost, you know, leaned over and huh? Yeah. Other than that, it's kind of quiet. I like this old building up here. Now I think it's just offices for the uh, water company, which this is where they fill up their bottles and stuff over here. Uh, one of the few times I've ever seen it closed, because sometimes they work late into the night. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it's kind of a cool little um, building. These are apartments, but I can never figure out where the entrance is. Be kind of a good location. And then there's some guest houses up here that, you know, the road's quiet for the most part. Be better than living on the main thing, and I'd be on the right side of the road to most of the places I need to go to. Well, here we are coming back up onto the main road. So I live on the other side and it's very hard to cross the street any time of the day. They turn off the traffic light uh, like nine o'clock but that doesn't slow down anybody when the traffic lights are still on. Half, half of everybody on motorbike will run the red lights. And the other half will do weird U-turns. <laughs> so it's scary as crap. Like I said, this is midnight on a Sunday here. So fast everybody's going. Half the time I'll be going up this side of the road. And somebody will come up right behind me on the shoulder, motorbike or sometimes a some other kind of vehicle, four-wheeled type, and they're going the wrong way. They expect me to jump out of the way. A lot of time you don't hear them until they're right there. Yes. 
the uh, market. It should be the better of two or three, but um, the other one uh, that I never went to closed. So this is pretty much the number one homemade burger. Uh, usually the seating areas are pretty much occupied. But lots of good food. It's not too expensive either. Lots of Chinese and Russians and unknowns. I know there's a few other Europeans. Up through here, and on the other side of the market on the main street, you got your uh, Burger King and Pizza Company. I only went to Pizza Company here one time when they first opened, and the size of the pizzas were smaller than normal, and they upped the prices, so uh, <laughs> not such a great deal. Right, I got a bread, more fruit over here. You got your souvenirs over there. You got your hair braiding stuff somewhere. Maybe I should get my hair braided like that. Uh, Main Street, you have some uh, places, a few restaurants as well. Uh, right. Your roadie guy here. The street here, this is going to be a bit of a long video. This one here, Sugar Shack, used to be New York Burger. I quite miss New York Burger, especially the jalapeno cheese burger. It was really good. I want to try this place sometime. Uh, Shawarma Kebabas. Uh, they seem to have a variety of stuff, but I never have ever seen a customer in there. Uh, They'll probably close before I get up the guts to uh, eat there sometime. Okay, and this road leads back up to the main highway. Um, there's a few more massage places up here. The other market used to be, it's all empty now, but there used to be an Incredible Hulk was the mascot. He's gone and everything else is gone too. But if I cut behind this hotel here, that's probably my favorite shortcut up back to the main road. It's always nice and quiet. There's very little traffic at all. And this little bar here on the corner. Uh, sometimes I see the dad of one of my former students working there, but uh, I haven't seen him in a while. But if, if I ever do see him, I'll stop and talk, but there's certainly nothing there I want to drink. All right, well, I'm gonna go into the dark in my little shortcut. Uh, today's a no-spend day and I have plenty of uh, soda in the fridge. And I have about three um, cups of ramen noodles too to eat so I don't need to stop at 7-Eleven as I would usually do. Alright, signing off.
chocolate. I love the chocolate. The stuff and the Thai tea one's really good too. They're all pretty good. But yeah, I'm not gonna. Whoops, sorry. Boy. Anytime they come in here, it's super crowded. But the other one, closer to my house, the line was wrapped around through the whole 7-Eleven and out the door again. I only went in to chase a dog. Because <laughs> today's photo um, prompt is animals. And there were two big dogs laying right outside the entrance of that 7-Eleven. I tried to take a picture of one and he, he scampered up into the 7-Eleven and I found him later on just chilling in a very nice and cold hallway. My favorite thing about the 7-Eleven is her air conditioner works pretty good. Okay, that, that's a new Coke. I haven't seen this one yet. What is that? Uh, K-Wave, limited edition. See, the limited editions always seem to be zero sugar now. So I don't buy the buy them. I was looking for A and W root beer, which they don't seem to have, at least not in the cans. Uh, there for a short couple of weeks. Every 7-Eleven in Kata seem to have A and W, but now the only one that does is the one that I call my local. It's the closest one to my apartment. This one is furthest of the ones that I frequent, I think. Mm, they're cookies. See, my, my local doesn't carry any of these. So if I want to stand in line for 20 minutes, I can get some of those. Okay, I have there, there's a few unique items I'd like here, but I don't feel like standing in this line for a while. So I'm going to come out of here. Well, this is outside the 7. This is Ozo across the street. And there's a bar on the corner, which I don't drink anymore, so I've never really spent much time in there. A bit further up is Burger King and uh, Pizza Company. And this is one of about two or three entrances to my favorite market. I'm not going to buy anything tonight, but all oh, that meat looks good. Okay. The dumplings look good. The smells in here are incredible. And seafood up here. Coconut ice cream. They've added some seating. That's usually my complaint. From about six until nine-ish, all the seating is usually just completely full. Okay. Coconut ice cream. Uh, little pancake thingies. Okay. See, these seats are always taken whenever I I want to eat dinner. Ice cream. Maybe just backing up. That's my favorite market. There's a lot of variety. Prices are really good. They're not tourist uh, pump. In fact, the other markets in Katz are pretty much the same. Uh, prices are fairly reasonable. There's some more seating. I'm going to go into this market in a bit, but let's go back around and see what we missed. 
Alright, this is roti on the end. We must have a beef in here. Really good roti. Or not roti, uh, uh, kebab. And you got dumpling. There's a roti guy. Oh boy, it smells so good in here. Okay. Curries. Masaman back there. Lots of fried stuff. Just stuff that I've never touched before, but it's probably pretty good. Oh, but, uh, sorry. Your leg stuck out. Alright, burger. And potatoes. Fruit shakes. Lots of smoothies. Looks like that's all avocado. And your pork belly. Anyway, I'm going back out on the main street. As you see, give you a little sign of what else we have out here. I tell you, that barbecue smells really good. Okay, so Watson's across the street, which is a pharmacy. Next to Top Chauron, which is eyeglasses. Expensive eyeglasses. I go to like the local optometrist. About time to get my eyes checked again. All right, and of course you got lots of cannabis dispensaries. There's one there called Greenhead. There's one with a flashing leaf. Uh, oh, it's next to the pharmacy, or maybe it is the pharmacy. I don't know. Yeah. Menta, the pharmacy is a cannabis dispensary. Yeah, a lot of my old famous, our uh, favorite um, uh, cafes are now cannabis dispensaries. Uh, the last of my, uh, the bookshops and used bookshops in Phuket is now a dispensary. Of course, they're making it illegal again to start December, so it uh, should be kind of interesting to see what what all these people do. Alright, uh, there's Burger King and Pizza Company next to it. And I'm going to go up here to the, uh, this is the original Keta Walking Street Night Market. Um, the one I just went through. Uh, used to be elsewhere, not too far away, but then they changed locations. And it seems like they just kind of up and moved within a day or two. They got a nice fruit market here, lots of fresh fruit on either side. Alright. I always forget to, I've got a selfie stick, but I always forget to bring it. See, there's the edge of the market I was just in. No, I'm really not. Okay, then, oh, that one's more of the same, but no, there's a lot of variety between the two. This is more of an old style one. Here you got your fried seafood. So I'm probably gonna have to shut it off when I walk by the bugs. Yeah, because they wanna charge you for the bug price. Okay, this is a large regular market that goes back away selling souvenirs and clothing. And the toilets are way back there too. It's a very strange setup because you have to deposit a coin in this kind of cage thing. And uh, the one time I used it and I really had to go. Uh, it locked me in. The case I didn't get all the way to the toilet. It just kind of locked, and I was trapped. So I had to reach around, put another ten baht coin in to get the rest of the way through, and it let me out just fine. But <laughs> I think it's by design. You know, instead of ten baht, it's a twenty baht toilet. You, you just got to pay the extra when you get trapped in the middle. <laughs> so, I'm just happy they have public toilets from 
mostly in uh, hidden places in the back of markets. Uh, sometimes you find one uh, around a temple or a shrine or something, but that's about it. Now coming out. Northern end of Kata Yai Beach. And, uh, oh, 30 minute walk from my home, I think. When you hear the tractors, you gotta watch behind you because they'll sneak up on you to get the uh, jet skis and things. out on the beach with the long trailers and then I'll load in the jet skis that are waiting in the water over there. pretty fast and you gotta wonder what happens if they run over somebody who's buried themselves in the sand or something. I usually see these guys uh, on the main road going past my house on their way home. Cruise down the street. He's gonna swing back around this way I think so I better jump out of the way in just a moment. <laughs> 